This video is a follow-up of two other videos. The first is named Layout, the second is called Utilities Flexbox. To be able to understand the contents of this video, I suggest that you view those two videos before embarking on this video. As a reminder, the rules of the grid. Columns must be the immediate child of a row. Rows are only used to contain columns, nothing else. Rows should be placed inside a container. In the layout video, I showed you how to change the layout for each device, depending on the available real estate. I will repeat that process here. I start with the container and add a row and a column. I resize the column, add a bottom margin and an image placeholder for the content. I then replicate the column a number of times so that I finish up with four images. Because Bootstrap is mobile first, I change the canvas to show the mobile view. Here I need to change the column width for each of the images to give me two images next to each other. When finished, I go to tablet view, I change the column widths to give me three images next to each other. I also adjust the column widths for the other views. For the extra large view, I would have loved to have had 5 images across, something that is not possible using this method. Not only that, this method is tedious and time consuming. Let's start again, by deleting what we have now. I add a row and a column. For the content I insert an image placeholder. Oops. Nearly forgot the bottom margin. I now replicate the column so that I finish up with 10 images. What we see are a number of images contained within a column. The columns have no set widths as before. Instead, they are fluid in width. This width is equal for each of the columns. But this is not the intended layout. We want the same layout as before. First I go to mobile view, where I change the layout for two images next to each other. For this, I select row. In the properties panel I select two columns in the row column selector. We now have the fluid width columns neatly lined up. I do the same for the other views. The most exciting part. I now have five images next to each other. Well done Bootstrap. Well done Wappler. While here, I need to get something off my chest. The row is selected. Yet there are two rows of images inside the so-called row. As explained at the start of this video, a row is a container for columns. Should row therefore have had another name. I now go back through the other views to make sure that all is well. This video is called Row Columns. However, there is one more aspect of Bootstrap that is closely related to this topic. This part is called Auto Layout Columns. To illustrate, I add another row below the previous example. Inside the row I place a, you guessed it, column. I duplicate the column so that I finish up with three columns. I change the width of the middle column to 7. You will notice that the two remaining columns adjust their widths to occupy the remaining grid columns. As explained before, the two columns have a fluid width. That is it for now. I hope this video has been of use. My name is Ben Plesier. I will continue to create more videos like this one. If you want to stay updated, hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.